virtual production from home. Today we'll be exploring the latest and greatest in professional virtual production filmmaking technology. I'm excited to be here and special thanks to all of our sponsors for allowing me the opportunity to showcase... Welcome to The Mothership, my custom motion control powered virtual production studio. We'll get to the motion control part in a bit. For now, let's talk computing power. The Mothership is powered by a custom built computer workstation from our fine friends at Puget Systems. They've graciously sponsored our project with two of them, each featuring an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000, 18 core Intel i9 processor, 256 gigs of RAM, several M.2 SSDs from Samsung, and a whole lot more. These custom-built workstations were optimized specifically to work best with our software. I have another custom PC that I built for additional post support featuring a Titan RTX. We have an MSI VR laptop, MacBook Pro, and another NVIDIA Titan workstation in the back office for media management. The dimensions of my blue screen studio are 12 by 13 with a 9 foot ceiling, which is not massive but can be utilized effectively when you know what you're doing. I intentionally made the decision to go with blue screens instead of green screens because, in a space this small, the luminance values of the green actually work against you, creating an incredible amount of spill, also known as radiosity. While shooting blue screen requires additional light to expose properly, the spill is much more manageable, which saves me a ton of time in post. Throwdown is action-packed, which required us to outsource custom professional-grade athletic mats for our flooring solution. This also saves me time in post because using a cloth on the ground would become very bunched up whenever there's action or excessive movement, which there tends to be a lot of in our show. These custom floors saved me hours of unnecessary rotoscoping time. I took advantage of our beamed ceiling to create a proper lighting grid overhead. This required rigging hardware, including the Panavise 301 and 303 heads, Matthews Hollywood head with 20 inch arms, C-clamps, safety chains, stingers, and more. I'm very impressed with the quality of light from the GVM 900D light panels. They're bi-colored with wireless control through an app and are essentially a smaller, more affordable version of the Astra light panels, which I typically go with. We have a variety of additional lighting, which includes several 500-watt scoop lights, a 300-watt Fresnel, and a 4-foot digital Sputnik Voyager, which I picked up specifically to create interactive LED lighting through their video mapping technology, which allows me to play back video on the actual light. Stay glued for more on that. We're also capturing immersive spatial audio recordings through our ambisonic microphone sponsored by Zoom. We'll utilize this audio in the creation of our Dolby Atmos and THX spatial audio mixes for Throwdown. Our studio is also stereoscopic 3D and 360 video enabled with a variety of VR headsets as well as two passive LG 3D displays. In conclusion, instead of shooting against a million dollars worth of LED walls and being locked into the quality levels of the game engine rendered environments as they existed on the day that we shot them, we are instead shooting our live action elements against blue screens, viewing the dirty composite live on set, while capturing our game engine rendered environment separately. This allows us to easily improve the quality of our rendered environments long after we captured the live action elements on set. Now, Disney Magic has made a lot of people believe that by simply shooting against LED walls with a large format camera, that you'll actually get Mandalorian level results. This is simply not the case. There's a lot more that goes into creating that level of quality besides the LED walls. I'll just leave it at that. Shout out to my girlfriend Brittany for allowing me to convert our home into a state-of-the-art, motion control powered virtual production studio. Smooches! Special thanks to our sponsor, Blackmagic Design, for the DeckLink 8K Pro capture cards featured in our custom Puget Systems workstations. 
Blackmagic Design for all your virtual production needs. Throwdown is being delivered at 8K resolution in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. We're launching on the biggest platforms on the planet that support those specifications. And because of that, we chose to capture using the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K. Now capturing at 12K has many benefits. It provides maximum resolution and quality for coloring, keying, compositing, reframing, and more in 8K. When paired with the superior image quality of the Zeiss Supreme Prime and CP3 lenses featuring Slash XD technology, the image quality we are able to achieve is unsurpassed. The Slash XD technology captures critical lens data such as focal length, focus distance, and aperture. Additionally, Slash XD technology records lens-specific characteristics such as shading and distortion. This information is critical to our VFX workflow. Our in-cam reality Mark II system is the most advanced camera tracking solution on the planet. NCAM features fast setup and calibration with industry-leading accuracy. The NCAM Mark II has the ability to track non-natural features, so there is no requirement to learn marker patterns. Their rugged, cost-effective system provides real-time tracking for indoor or outdoor environments, again, without the need for markers. So here's how that works. First, we calibrate the lens. Then we set our zero point to align the virtual camera with the live action camera. The data from the Zeiss lens and Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K are sent to the Mark II server, which immediately allows for our blue screen to be replaced with our virtual environment, which is rendered with the power of Unreal Engine 4. A critical aspect of our workflow is that we specifically capture our live action elements separately from the virtual environment to ensure maximum flexibility in post-production. Once we have our footage in post, we utilize our Boris FX software that includes Sapphire, Mocha Pro, and Continuum to enhance our compositing. When we combine the Ursa Mini Pro 12K, Zeiss Slash XD lenses, and Cam Reality Mark II with the Kessler Cine Shooter and Shuttle Dolly, this becomes the ultimate virtual production system. Just look at it. Hmm, look at that robot go. Automatic. Can you hold a camera that steady? Ooh, so smooth. I love a good robot. Now, while our studio here is HTC Vive enabled, it's only for video games, not for camera tracking. Isn't it beautiful? Shaky handheld camera work is magnified when using a virtual camera. So why not do yourself and your audience a favor and create smooth camera movement? with the Kessler Cine Shooter plus Shuttle Dolly. Cine Shooter features a variety of remote control options, including a mobile app, Xbox or PS4 controller, and many more. Other features include Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, professional grade Limo connections, as well as, get this, advanced facial tracking technology. Can you believe that? It's crazy. The Cine Shooter has a variety of accessories, such as the heavy-duty support module for camera payload of up to 25 pounds. All this for a fraction of what older, less capable alternatives cost. For a true professional that's serious about virtual production, the choice is obvious.
The mothership is powered by a custom-built computer workstation from our fine friends at Puget Systems. They've graciously sponsored our project with two of them, each featuring an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000, 18-core Intel i9 processor, 256 gigs of RAM, several M.2 SSDs from Samsung, and a whole lot more. Reach out to Puget Systems for all your custom computing needs. Hi, I'm James Markham Hall Jr. and I'm here live editing in 12K. And it's a treat to shoot on the Ursa Mini Pro 12K. However, color grading and editing in 12K is absolutely phenomenal. Let's take a closer look. So here I am in my 12K timeline editing in DaVinci Resolve. I'm here at Zeiss. You can see that it's a 12288 by 6480 timeline and with the power of my Puget system, this plays back buttery smooth with no problem at 24 frames per second. However, this is an 8K clip. Let's take a look at what it looks like when I play a 12K clip, such as this one from my home studio. So we'll transition from the 8K clip directly into the 12K clip, which plays equally as smooth. And then I cut the clip in half and dissolved into a shot which is the same shot zoomed in at 300 percent. I said I zoomed in 300 percent. I got two shots for the price of one. That's crazy. Why wouldn't you shoot 12k? It's incredible. Let's take a closer look. This is the same shot. I just split the shot in half. There we are, right here, and let's take a look at the inspector. This is zoomed in one time, that's 100%. This is the same shot. I cut it in half and dissolved into this same shot, which is 2.68, almost 300%. Let's go at full 300, why not? There, there you go. That's perfectly acceptable. Nice and crisp and sharp, and now I have two shots from the same shot. That's remarkable. Look at that. You can't get that with 4K. So you get a wide shot and a close-up by shooting 12K. Isn't that remarkable? By capturing in 12K, you set yourself up with a multitude of options for post-production. Why wouldn't you shoot 12K? The choice is obvious. Enjoy the show. Throwdown's Advanced Virtual Production Workflow is a global operation. The two companies that came together to help us create the world's first 8K virtual stunt sequence are Edinburgh-based Mercuna, who are the creators of groundbreaking artificial intelligence navigation middleware, and Digital Dive Studio in Madrid, Spain, the creators of the revolutionary Drivable Cars Advance Pack system. We worked diligently with these two teams leading up to our presentation to create the world's first ever 8K virtual stunt. Mercuna's artificial intelligence navigation system allowed us to animate the spectacular drivable cars from Digital Dive. Digital Dive's Drivable Cars Advanced Pack system features vehicle interactions, physics, car damage, and much more. We have had a great time working with everyone and look forward to capturing mind-blowing 8K stunt sequences for our upcoming project, Throwdown, using artificial intelligence from Mercuna and customizable vehicles from Digital Dive. I'd like to thank the Visual Effects Society as well as all of our sponsors for helping us to create Throwdown. I'm James Markham Hall Jr. Thank you for watching and stay glued for more.